and oh hi Ruth just look at the sun shining through the myrtles over there isn't that beautiful and just taking photos of Ruth the bush and the huts you know me I've always got a camera in my hand It's so peaceful and quiet up here, Amy. Oh, it sure is, Ruth. I just love it up here on the mountain. Anytime I can come up for a walk, and it's always a bonus if there's a hut around. Here. Heritage and culture. What do you mean? Well, these huts belong to a bygone era. A time that was a lot harder than what we live in now when men used to have to come into the mountains to make extra living. Some would come in as trappers and hunters. Some would come with their cattle to raise. How do you know all this, Amy? Well, I belong to a group called the Mountain Huts Preservation Society. It's been in existence for probably 32 years or so now and I've been there most of that time. What is your favourite hut, Maggie? Oh gosh, Rubes, I don't know that I've got a favourite hut. Um, I've got to, familiar with a lot of the huts through the work we do with the Mountain Huts Preservation Society and we've rebuilt quite a few over the last 30 odd years. We've renovated some, we've uh, re either complete rebuild or renovation or restoration and you get to like them for all different reasons. So I, I can't say that I've really got a favourite one. Some have beautiful views. Some are in lovely settings next to lakes. I couldn't pick a few. How do your volunteers help to raise money? Well, our project is a calendar that we put out every year. A calendar of the huts of uh, all over Tassie. And we've been doing that for 11 years now. So that's a big money spinner for us and, and our main fundraiser. When we, when we first started producing the calendar, I think we printed 100 the very first year and we were really worried that we wouldn't uh, sell them all. Now we're up to 1,250 a year and, and they sell out every year. They're very, very popular. So that's our main fundraiser. Why is it important to have these huts, Amy? Well, it's important on a couple of, couple of fronts, uh, Ruby. First of all, it maintains our heritage and our history and, and the people who built them. So you're going back probably to, mid to late 1800s with some of these huts and there's a lot of history there so it's very important that that be maintained. Do you need to book for these huts Maggie? No there's absolutely no booking system no ticket needed at all. Can I have a look at some of your photos Maggie? Oh sure Rubes I'd love to share them with you. We'll, we'll pack up and go home and have a look at some will we? Yeah sure. Lovely. Thank you.